next thing we're going to talk about is ions. So ions are charged particles. That means they have a different number of protons uh, from the number of electrons that they have. So if an element has more electrons, since electrons are negative, the element would have a negative charge. And if the atom has uh, more protons, since protons are positive, then it would have a positive charge. So that's what the charge means. Uh, and now a couple of examples. So I have beryllium with a plus two charge, and I want to find its number of protons and electrons. The first thing I will need to know is uh, how many protons beryllium has in the first place. So I'll look at the element. Uh, the number four up here represents the number of protons. So that'll be four. And then I'm going to compare to get my number of electrons. Since this is a positive charge, that means I'm going to have two extra protons. So the positive tells me I have more protons. The number right here tells me how many. So two extra protons means I'm going to subtract to get my electrons. So four minus two gives me two electrons. Uh, same thing in the next one you have carbon with a minus three charge. Carbon, according to the periodic table, has six protons. And then, uh, since I have a negative, that means I'm gonna have extra electrons. So I will add, in this case, six plus three gives me nine electrons. So we'll take it one step further. Now we're gonna add what we learned before into isotopes. So I have an isotope of uranium-235, and this isotope has a charge of minus 2. The mass information I can get from right here, so the mass is 235. The atomic number and number of protons is not included here. So I'll look at the periodic table. The number 92 is the number of protons, or the atomic number, so I can put that right there. The number of neutrons, I'm going to have to do some math to figure out. So I'll take the mass of 235, and I will subtract the number of protons, 92, and that will give me 143 uh, neutrons. And then the last thing I want to figure out is the number of electrons. So if I take a look up here, this charge is minus 2, which means I'm going to have two extra electrons. So 92 and I'm going to be adding to get some more. 92 plus 2 is 94 electrons. We'll do one more example of some ions. Um, this is an element. I know its mass, I know its number of protons, and I know its charge. I have a lot of information to figure out. So the first thing I'll do is I'll look on the periodic table uh, for the number of protons, and that's going to tell me that I have number 69, Cn. So my symbol for my isotope notation will be like that. Um, and then the next thing I can find is the number of neutrons. So neutrons is the mass, and it's not the mass from the periodic table. It's the mass from the problem, So it's, since it's an isotope. 119 will be what I'd use. And then I'm going to subtract the number of protons. So I'll subtract 69, 119 minus 69 gives me 50 neutrons. Um, when we're writing isotope notation, the mass is always what goes in the upper left-hand corner, so I'll write that right there. I could write the number of protons if I wanted to in the bottom left-hand corner. And then the other piece of information I'm going to need to include is my charge. Since my charge here is uh, positive 4, that means I'm going to have 4 extra protons. So when I go to find my number of electrons, I have 69, and it means I have four extra protons, so that means I need to subtract, and I will subtract four. 69 minus four gives me 65, and I finish this problem.